Nation. Weather from where you live. Well, there's that cold upper low, that storm sitting near our area. Now, this storm brought 60 mile per hour winds to Chicago, 20 foot waves on Lake Michigan. We actually had a wind gust of 49 miles an hour right as the snow was setting in at the Howard County Airport just northeast of Kokomo. And with these upper lows, you get snowfall kind of in a non traditional way. Usually, where the strongest rising air motion is, that's where the coldest air will be brought down out of the lower atmosphere and it'll change everything to snow, but where you don't have that as much, it can be rain. So uh, you can have rain in the county next door and you can be getting very heavy snow. These are incredibly difficult storms to forecast, but right now it's still snowing heavily Rochester to Logansport, Peru, and all the way down to just east of Lebanon, tipped in over towards Kokomo, but it's changing to rain again as the cold core of the storm pulls away. It's changing to rain on the backside. We've had some light rain here in Lafayette, West Lafayette, down towards Crawfordsville, and it's mixing here in Carroll County. But notice the back edge pretty much cutting the viewing area in half, and actually the skies are starting to clear in our far western counties. And once the clearing process gets underway, the storm pulls away, uh, temperatures will drop below freezing, and any flush, uh, slush or certainly any snow left over or moisture will start to freeze up. All right, back to the maps we go. It's snowfall so far, these are the totals as of about 10 uh, till 6, about an inch and a half reported just the west of Monticello uh, near Chalmers. 2.6 here at the TV station, similar amounts down in central and southern Tippecanoe County, 1.5 inches east of Attica. Well, we've had reports of almost 5 inches now in northern Miami County and about 4.5 over parts of Fulton County, over four inches reported near Logan's Port. Tonight, still a little light rain falling, but the skies will start to clear soon, and these readings will start to fall off. There's the cold core below freezing here. We'll, we are at 40 in the west, but even these numbers will start to come down uh, downward. Highly variable snowfall amounts, nothing Newton, Jasper, Benton counties to as much as seven inches in Miami County. Still some slick spots on the roads tomorrow morning. Watch for frozen car locks as we drop into the 20s tonight. And of course, river flooding will continue on all area rivers through Saturday. Any mix or snow will slowly come to an end. We'll be well below freezing at 11 o'clock, but gusty north winds up to 35 miles an hour. And generally speaking, again, very difficult forecast, but uh, we had uh, between two and three in Lafayette, but as you go northward, the final totals will be about five to six inches here over parts of Fulton, Miami, and also Cass counties. Lows tonight, low to mid 20s area wide. Watch for slick spots and highs tomorrow. Generally 34 Rochester, 35 Lafayette, and about 35 at Pence. So a lot of the snow will melt away. 74 cast. There you have it. Teens tomorrow night will be up to 36 Thursday, mostly sunny. A few snow showers Friday and perhaps a little more light snow early next week with highs in the upper 20s. Off complete list of snowfall totals, Jeff, at 11 o'clock tonight. And of course, Cynthia Roosh from Monticello, the snowfall contest winner. You know, she forecasted that inch within three minutes of yeah, exactly when we it. got an inch. Pretty good. Yeah, and she did that way back, I think, on November 11th. That's so right, yeah. she had her thinking cap on. Tough one to forecast, wasn't it? Rough, rough storm today because, you know, a Fowler got nothing. And we had 2.6 in Lafayette. Yeah, all right, thanks. Nice yep. job. Uh, Mike Clef is at the sports desk for us tonight.